hey welcome back everybody in this video we are integrating this feature where we'll self-destruct node in future so after 30 minutes one hour so when we select that it will this node will get deleted after one hour let's create a node node to be destroyed delete in one hour and uh, let's create that node not created successfully and let's see database refresh it not to be deleted in one hour and we are saving the utc time in future one hour from now all right so how do we go about deleting it uh, let's open up code let's open up terminal let's verify if it is saving our correct time so i will boot up psp artisan tinker and value of now is yeah 25 516 let's see in database we are saving 516 2104 so it is saving correct date and time so in previous video we have covered how we are saving that in store method we have this destroyed ad checking if we are uh, we got this destroy add value and if there is one edge coming from there and now we are adding one hour to current date time and we are then saving it into our database so now saving part is done and we need to delete this uh, all nodes and that got we need to delete all node and for which destroy add value is in past so let's create a command for that and we will run that command every five or ten minutes and that will run that command and delete the nodes from database if uh, the destroy add value is in past so yeah we can do it in couple of ways we need we can use the scheduler or we can uh, directly entry a uh, command in cron tab in linux so let's uh, go with a scheduler that laravel offers it's easier easy to manage and good practice to use that so in laravel documentation you will see the scheduling section task scheduling here you can schedule anything like this you can call any method or any database query in closure like this and then pass in the value how often you want to run that so this is based on idea of cron tab in linux so you can just entry a cron there and it will run it will execute that particular command in a specified time interval okay so first off let's go ahead and you can do inline if you have uh, less amount of code or you can create a artisan command and then you can run that command from here so i'll go uh, and create command because it is a uh, good practice to organize the code and along the way we learn how to create command as well so i will create a command called note destroyed so whenever i call php artisan note destroy it should delete the nodes all the nodes that need to be deleted all right so there is a couple of ways you can do create command artisan command so you can use make command and then name of command uh, like so you can create that way that will create separate files but uh, for simple code you can use console.php to create a new command there we go so we can you, uh, there is already this code whenever you run inspire then this code will be displayed this is the way to define a route sorry command and here i have defined a node uh, destroy command and in this uh, just ignore this uh, commented code so here what we are doing is we are just uh, running one query to delete nodes all right so we are checking where destroy at is less than or equals to now and we are converting it to date time string so that we can compare it with destroy at 
column data of destroy at column and then we call delete so it will delete all the all other items uh, whose dates date is in past destroy at is in past all right so we need to run this command frequently in order to just update our database so in order to run that we'll run that uh, like uh, let's say we'll run it every minute and then it will destroy all the nodes so let's go to console kernel so that is located inside app uh, console kernel.php so here we have schedule section here we can schedule our command you can see we have this commented code you can uncomment it and type in command which you want to run let's see node destroy node destroy or node delete yeah node destroy so this is the command that need to be run not hourly every minute so we'll run this command every minute and then it will destroy all the nodes so we can do it in couple of ways and now um, by doing just this it will not run every minute this is we are just defining it in our code and we need to add the entry to cron tab so if you go to task scheduling section and this is all definition defining part everything and link time zones okay so running serial so now that we have lear learned to define schedule tasks we need to run this command schedule run so this we can manage uh, we need to add this entry to cron tab so if you are working on uh, if your app is in production then you need to copy this this path to project so if you are just testing locally you don't need to do this step just run this php artisan schedule work command there just run this command and it will listen for any of the scheduler in console kernel here so it will execute all the commands every minute so it will listen for that and keep destroying nodes every minutes so every minute it will check that query that we have defined in console dot route it will just check for all the nodes whose destroy at value is less than the current dates value all right so see it is deleting so just in order to test it locally that's it you have to do just that and in production you need to add this entry to cron tab so how do we do that just copy this and let me open up notepad so that i can enter the task i can make like this so part to your project so wherever your project is so in your case there might be this thing so this might be the path to your project p note just cd into that and run php artisan schedule run everything else will be same so only this part should be different all right so so if you are using ubuntu or linux you just need to log into that and just open up terminal in ubuntu so i'm using wsl2 i also have ubuntu app and here I'll just open up first you need to find where your project is so in my case it is inside mnt c laragon pnote so this is the location of my project in my case this is the location so if you are using ubuntu that might be inside for www and your project name so just use that all right so in order to add uh, cron add this entry to chrome just uh, run cron tab minus e 
this will open the chrome tab file and here you need to enter what you have just copied or yeah from documentation we have copied one entry that we need to enter it here Okay, so here we have entered that and now just replace that with your real path. And then call it artisan. Okay, you don't need to do artisan, just this. So I previously I've entered this entry. So just ignore that you might have other entries in your Chrome tab or according if you are just adding it for first time you'll you won't see any of these entry so you just need to enter this in your Chrome tab and save it then you are all set you don't need to do that run this command run this command uh, manually so after adding it just control O and write it to file then it will be saved all right so that's it uh, that's how you add it to chrome entry you don't need to run this so this is just for local testing in production this won't be running all the way so cron will keep this running every minute run this command every minute and all the nodes get, will be updated yeah so that's uh, the idea and that's uh, that will just delete all the nodes that need to be deleted all right so that's it in for this video hope you learned something out of this video and i'll see you on another video bye